All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. Real early up in the morning. My voice is all messed up. You already know from camp. It is what it is. Second Peter 3, verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and thousand years to one day. See that? His eyes are also 10,000 times uh, brighter, 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Verse 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. But it's long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, should come to what? To repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Boom. See that? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be that therein shall be burned up. Verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons that's men and woman, because this is what is going. It's going into the, the women right now. I just watched the video. We're going to get into it. Seeing that all these things being dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. <laughs> First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. What did I just say? And the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. This is why the scripture, the scripture talks about this. All things are lawful, but not expedient. Okay. No matter what your desires and how you feel and what you, and what you think and feel. All things are lawful, but not expedient. That's why he said, wait ye upon me. Wait ye upon me for what? Let's go into it. Let's get into it right here. Let's check this out. Salakia. Let's go here. We'll go here first. Look, look, look. 144. Hot sale. 144. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see this. What does this say? That's that we sometimes have that resting bitch face. Get rid of it because that's going to immediately intimidate a white guy to be like, oh, yeah, no, never mind. She's probably not even interested or don't even want to be bothered. Crack a smile. Crack a smile. Crack a smile. Huh? Crack a smile for the Edomite, man. Eve has always been this way since Genesis. She's never, she's always been this way and she's never changed. Now, here's a big difference. It's a big difference upon the earth. Now, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai has, has waking his men up and showed us the real wickedness and evilness of these damn women, man. Okay? And to you, Aquaf, that are doing the right thing, hey, Shalom to you. Other than that, as the, as the scriptures say, <laughs> screw the rest of them, screw them. It doesn't matter. All things are lawful, but not expedient. That's why we need to wait. That's why we have to wait into the kingdom to get our due diligence, to get our, uh, our, our, our true justice. Let's keep going. Or, you know, a little flirtatious type of motion or gesture. Yeah, that is going to get his attention, baby. Do not be afraid to speak first. Say hello. Hello does not hurt anybody. Actually, believe it or not, sometimes a hello can go a long way. You make somebody's day sometimes by just saying hello. You have a white boyfriend. Do not use the in bomb See that? in front of him. If you're in his company, don't use the word. And she was like, Kina, I use the word. So he think he can use the word. And I'm like, he think he can use the word. Deliver it. And um, also question your partner if he has a post. Listen to these women. Look at how, look at how calm and, uh, um, uh, and uh, well, I, I would say genuous. Well, look at how calm and uh, meek they can actually be. Look at how calm and meek they can actually be. But when you when you when you go to the telelight vision, okay, and when you go to this and when you go to that social media, what do you see? I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. Nigga, this nigga that. Ho, bitch. Ho, bitch. Ho, bitch. Ho. I'm a bad bitch. That's what you see and that's what you hear. But when they get around Esau, eat them just like it said in Genesis. The serpent was more subtitled than any beast of the field, right? But when you when you go back all the way to the beginning, 
She has always been a what? Hypergamous. She's always been hypergamous. Going for what she thinks is better, what she thinks she can get a, a, a more uh, um, a substance from, okay? And, and with that being said, of course, it's Esau Edom. Because why? He's the hammer of the earth. He's, he rules the whole entire earth as it is on this side in this, in this age. That's why she acts like this. Now look at her. See how calm she can be? See how calm and easy she can be? Look, 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 listen. ...views on something as a black woman that you are very passionate about. You want to hear more about that? Get my book, A White Man's Whore. Uh, One of the keys of keeping a... A white man's whore. She said, a white man's whore. She wrote a whole goddamn book. A white man's whore. You can't make this shit up. Healthy relationship with a man. Get rid of it, because that's... Let's go back. Let's, let's, let's get one more here. Let's go. And um, also question your partner if he has opposing views on something as a black woman that you are very passionate about. You want to hear more about that? Get my book, A White Man's Whore. Uh, one of the keys oh of boy. keeping a healthy relationship with a man or keeping a man is to keep the peace, be his peace. Have this kind of atmosphere where if you're around him, he knows it's peaceful. Black women, if you want to date outside of your race, you need to be disciplined. When they say we're going to the gym at 530 in the morning, you better be up at five o'clock getting ready. They are not going to deal with the lack of discipline and what we make black men put up with, they are not going to go for Do that. You hear that? And what we make black men put up with, mm -hmm. they are not going to go for that. What we make. That is an admission. They do this shit on purpose. Why? It's hypergamy because they know they can get away with it. Let's keep going. Black men put mm -mm -mm. up with, they are not gonna go for that. Really believe it or not. Hey, Shalom, Mark yourself. Shalom, this is from the uh, beloved brother out of Kansas City, uh, GMS Kansas City. I will copy and paste his entire lesson in the description box. So the title of this lesson. Unbelievable is thy people shall be willing mm -hmm. in the day of your power. That's right. Shalom. Barak Tain Yahweh. Barak Tain Yahweh Shai. Kahalaimla Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakadai. Let's go. All right. Let, all right. He said, he said Rakakadai. So let's keep going because he said something else and I want to get that also. Much respect and honor. By the way, this is the brother Amawana Bod. If, if you didn't know, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe <laughs> Salakia. I had, I had to put that in there. I had to say it. Brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. That's right, bro. Salutations <clears throat> to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad in double honor and respect to the beloved apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Mm -hmm. If you watch the movie Scarface, uh -huh. there's a scene where the star character says, first we get the power, then we get the woman. All right. You heard that, right? First we get the power, then we get the woman. We always go to this scripture right here. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and go to it. Let's go to it. It, it. This is a total impromptu. You see, Job 9 and verse 24. Who has the power? Who has the women, right? I mean, when honestly, you know, northern and southern kingdom, the women really want Jake, man. Why? Because we the salt of the earth. We got flavor. We got this and that. You know, I, I mean, I'm just saying, not tooting our horns, you know, or or, or anything like that. Not being a... a over-righteous, or whatever, man, but, but but screw it. We got to tell the truth, man. Jake got flavor, man. It is what it is. You know, what woman wouldn't want a man with, with some kind of flavor? But at the same time, she had programs, right? So let's go here first. What what, 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 uh, what the brother say? He said, first, we get the power, then we get the woman. See, he understood the order. He understood how this is supposed to work, right? As a matter of fact, in that movie, he got the power, then he got the woman. <laughs> that, that's very interesting see this all backs up well uh, what i'm saying right here as, as a matter of fact it backs up what the bible is saying Th that women are hypergamy they are they always look at bathsheba you know they always go for the ones who's got the power now in that movie 
Scarface, uh, the dude Frank, he was the top man. And then, uh, and then the other dude, Scarface, you know, he he became the top man. And and guess what? His one, uh, uh, Frank's woman, uh, left him and came along with Scarface. It's it's easy to see it, man. Easy to see it. Another movie, uh, The Shape of Things to Come, and it was written in uh, it came out in uh, 19, uh, 1936. Apostle Gabar put me onto that movie. I watched it. You know, it's it's an old ass movie. Sort of slow. Sort of hard to hear sometimes. But even in that, the woman was hypergamous. The woman that was a uh, that w that was beside the dude. You just, just watch the movie. She was hypergamous too. Job nine verse twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And not where and who is he? And that's Esau Edom, the so called white man. The same, the same what? The same people that these Eves right here. See that? Let's go back. The same people that these Eves. Probably not even talking interested about. or don't even want Right? Esau Edom, same people. Now let's go here. Since he mentioned the movie. You've got to make them money. No, I don't want to edit that. Let's go back. Slocky. Just I'm you know, I'm screwing up right now. Here we go. Let's play it. You gotta make the money first, right? This country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power. Then you get the woman. Boom. There it is. And then when you get the power, then you get the woman. Joel 3 and verse 3. And they have cast lots from my people. Let's not. I didn't want, I didn't want that. Nope. It's going back. Yeah, here we go. It's, it, here we go. Let's get this definition. Hypergamy, right? Hypergamy. 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 The action of marrying or forming a sexual relationship with a person of superior sociological or educational background. Do you see that? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. So the top, you know, the top person, uh, uh, I, I mean, uh, the the people that are ruling the earth is Esau, Edom, right? It's a so-called white man. Now, it, even in, in his uh, higher up societies, in his Illumina Illuministic ways, you know, the uh, Schicken Groovers, the Oppenheimers and the, the Gettys and, and uh, the... Uh, uh, the red, the red shields. All right. All of them. The, you know, you know what they still practice, even though they push feminism on everybody else. You know what they still practice of uh, the male uh, patriarch. See, male hierarchy. They don't let the, they don't let any of their women uh, rule nothing. They don't let them do that. You know, they just don't. Because they know that uh, it's going to screw everything up. Uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah is not the author of confusion. Uh, be, uh, uh, see, see what? Uh, let's, let's go here. Second Peter three and verse eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that uh, I just read. That N let's keep on going. We got hypergamy, and I pulled a couple of th other things up. You know, just to be pulling things up to see what this is all about. Let's see what did I pull up here? Hypergamy. Let's see what is hypergamy. The old, the age old relationship practice explained. Relationship. That's not. See, and that's and that's why we got to read the Bible. It ain't about no damn. It ain't no damn relationship. It ain't no damn relationship. It's a damn. It's a uh, 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 not a, not a partnerhood. It's a it's a it's a union, man. It's a union. That's what it is. Hypergamy is an age old relationship practice that still that's still relevant today. Okay, let's see what this says. Okay, um, Hollywood loves a hypergamous heroine. Now, of course they do. Why? Because it's a wicked ass queendom. It's a wicked ass queendom. That's why they that's why they love it. See? All right. Take for example, Vivian Ward, Carrie Bradshaw of most recent uh, re recently uh Daphine uh, uh, uh Briggerton, Salakia, but it's not just an adult uh fair whatever blah 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 generation da 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 da. da. All right, let's go. But even as society has become more uh ego ego egalitarian I don't know what that word means. Let's look it up. You know, we look up words if we don't understand what the hell it means. And if you do, you know, Salakia, I don't. You see, let's see what this word means. All right. Egalitarian. Egalitarian, a person who advises or supports egalitarian egalitarianism or egalitarian practices. Let's see. Um, Relating to or, or, or believing in a in a principle, in a principle that all people are equal. There it is. That's why I looked that up. Call Hello Yahweh Shah. And all people are not equal. As an order, is there not an order? 
See, you got. That's why you got to read the Bible, man. If you're not, if you're not reading the Bible and doing thus saith your how about Shimmy shine, you can kick rocks. I don't give a shit. All right, because because they never one of us equal. When men and women are not equal in any measure of the uh, uh, imagination, not at all. And that's a fact. And the women who know that, man, that's why they, that's why they are help meets to their husbands. That's why the woman was created for the man. This is a bunch of damn nonsense. OK, our ERC are equal and deserve equal rights and opportunities. That's so that's what that word means. OK, so let's go back. Let's go back. We'll read that. We'll read that again. Um, Where was I at here? Um, here we go. Um, Nope, that was something different. Here we go. All right here. All right. Egalitarian, egalitarian, Salakia, with women rejecting the uh, antiquated ideas of um, uh, pre previous generations. Ah, so the previous generations, even like in the 1950s, in the uh, 40s, 50s, maybe even some in some in the 60s, and 70s. You go back and look at films and, and the way women were, man. They were a whole lot different. They were a whole lot different, man. Hey, they would they would guide the house. Take care, you know, take care of the things in the house. And, you know, they still had liberty to get abroad, well, like way too damn much because it's a Babylon. You can't forget. But they were different, even wearing dresses and shit, man. And now I walk around uh, every everywhere I go, man. When you at camp, I know you brothers see it all the time. When you at camp, man, every woman and whether it be an old woman or a damn little girl, you, you know, uh, I don't be eight, nine, ten, twelve. You know, year old or a damn a 30 year old or a 50 or 60 or a damn 70, or 100 year old damn woman walking around with stretch pants on, showing every damn thing they got. And it's crazy as hell, man. It's just places all kinds of upside down. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, outnumbering their male counterparts. Yep, yeah, like 14 to 1. The brother Yabakana brought that out just the other day. 14 to 1. 14 to 1. You know, it's, if you were truly equal, you would be ruling. You would be ruling every damn thing. There's so many more of you. Isaiah 4 and verse 1, but we'll go there. All right, on college campuses, of course on college campuses, you, you got too goddamn much liberty to get abroad, man. And, uh, and see, in convocation halls and, lear and, uh, and leaning into every form of side hustle to see, see suits, many single ladies, all the single ladies, see that? All the single ladies, put your hands up, Miss Independent, okay? And then she goes and gets married to this devil. And she and now she got a high value man, right? <laughs> oh man, you ease are through, man. Y'all are through. Especially the so-called black woman. Let's just be honest, damn it. Northern Kingdom, she she liked that too. She just a little she just a little more subdued about it. Anyway, uh many single ladies still desire a high pergamous pairing. Ooh, they what? They desire a high pergamous pairing. Pairing. Let's read it again. Hypergamy, the action of marrying or forming a sexual relationship with a person of superior, superior, social, ethical, or educational background. So, in other words, she wants somebody that's better than she is, and she don't see you, uh, so you so-called black men, uh, natives, you know, uh, so-called so-called Mexicans, uh, Hispanics, and uh, Native Americans. She don't see you as equal. She sees you as a piece of crap. Why? Because you are trotted down just like she is, but she don't know it yet. All the way back in Genesis, the serpent was more subtitled than any beast of the field, right? Isn't that true? Let's go there. Let's go ahead and go there. Let's get it. It's Genesis 3 and verse 1. Uh, Genesis 3 and verse 1, it reads, Now the serpent was more subtitled than any beast of the field, which the Lord Yahweh, our power, had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And that fruit, that fruit was philosophy. It was philosophy. That's what she ate. She gobbled it down and swallowed it up. Hook, line, and sinker, like she does to this day. As a matter of fact, I think she knows. I think she knows what she's done. But she's doubling and tripling and quadrupling down on it. Why? Because she's hypergamy. She's hypergamous. And she really don't give a shit. That's why she's going to be saved in childbearing, right? See that? Do you understand? You know, and this is not to belittle anyone, but uh, damn it, we got to tell the truth. And I don't give a shit what kind of feelings I hurt. Don't care. You can kick rocks. Verse 2. 
And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. See, in the kingdom anyway, in the kingdom, she ain't, she, she ain't gonna, she's not going to go off. Everything's going to be said all right, man. All right. Verse three, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh have said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. See that? Lest ye die. But what did the serpent say? Which is the spirit of Esau, Edom today. What did he say? Verse five, for the most I doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then she, it said, in the day ye eat thereof, she, she already, he already, it's, it's his movie. He already knew she, she was uh, too damn high pergamous and stupid. Because what, what she wants? She wanted the power. I want, I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. It's the same attitude today. Don't you see it? I want this. I want that. And willing to do anything. Just, uh, leave your babies at home and have a good time. And for six days, while they, uh, it's all kinds of little, 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 uh, 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 wicked little shit like that that Eve does. She does all kinds of, and she, she's high pergamon. She's high pergamon. Wicked as hell, man. Wicked as hell. Until you ones that are doing the right thing, man, you are a damn, you a rare breed, man. You a rare breed. Shalom to you. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. See that? Knowing good and evil. See, it was philosophy. It wasn't no damn apple. Yeah, that's Christianity's bugged the hell out, man. All right. In, in verse six. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. See that? For that philosophy, for what she wanted to hear. That's what she wanted to hear. She, she, wanted, she wanted more than what she was given when she was given a, 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 a perfect role in the first place. But all that's going to come back. Mm -hmm. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise. See, she took it it's to make what one wise. Does, does an apple make you wise? No. The philosophies, the teachings that the serpent, the serpent, the subtile serpent was telling her, no, you're not going to die. You're going to be all right. You're going to be good. See, and she knew what she wasn't supposed to do it. And then she tricked Adam into doing it. And Adam shouldn't have done it anyway. But, it, you know, it, anyway, it was all written, you know, and if you can receive it, you know who Adam is. Mm hmm. All right. To be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband. What? Her husband with her and he did eat and the eyes of them both were opened and they and, and they knew that that uh, that they were naked and they and they uh, sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. OK, and they knew that they were naked. They knew that they, uh, they knew good and evil at that point. You understand? They had clothes on. They had clothes on already as the Adamites and the Evites was already there. Come on, y'all. Don't be so damn simple. Okay, let's continue on here. We'll go to Sirach 36 and verse 24. He that getteth a wife. Let's go back. Oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go to verse 20. Sirach 36 and verse 20. A forward heart causes heaviness, but a man of experience will recompense him. What a man of experience will recompense him back in the day. I mean, hell, I mean, shh, a couple, two or three, maybe even four years ago. I'd have been all pissed off about watching that, blah, blah, blah. I mean, but you know what? It doesn't. Man. You still get somewhat upset about it, you know, but you but you you can't, man, because that's just the way you how why you how shot made these damn women. He made them like this, man. OK. You know, that's we were we were destroyed. We were destroyed through our women. OK, the scripture says it. It's right there in the Apocrypha. You know, the scripture talks about uh, 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 through the woman came the beginning of all sins through her. We all die. Uh, nothing is more evil than a wicked than the wickedness of a woman. See that? Uh, you, and, and what did Esau Edom do? He's uh, he's wise. Esau Edom is wise. He's wiser than Daniel. Right. What did he do? Man, he used that woman against us since in the beginning from the from the foundations of the earth. He, he's been the earth, the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. 
Hypergamy. All this should mingle together in your mind. Don't you see it? Verse 22, the beauty of a woman cheereth, uh, cheereth the countenance, the countenance, Salakia, and a man loveth nothing better. If there be, see, a man, a man is actually loves you. You know, your man, your, your husband actually loves you, man. He loves you. But 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 women are, are are basically incapable of love. Why? Because they were made that way. They were made to serve. Woman means servant. A female servant. That's what it means. They were made to serve. She's basically incapable. She'll tell you she loves, but she don't. But she don't really don't love you, man. She, what she, what she needs is uh, uh not companionship, but she needs to be taken care of. That's what she needs. Okay, that's what she needs. Okay, if uh, if there be kindness, meekness, let's see, uh, yep, if there be kindness, meekness, comfort in her tongue, then is not her husband like other men? Hmm. Verse 24, he that getteth a wife getteth a possession. That's ownership. Did, uh, did Eve not come from Adam's rib, as it, uh, you know, as it's written? Is the woman of the man or is the man of the woman? Hey, it's in the scriptures. Go back and read it. You can see it. You can find it. I'm sure. Do a little research. All the uh, proud, independent bullshit. Oh, that's about going to go by the wayside right quick, fast and in a hurry. Quick. Yeah, you know, as the brother said, uh, uh, our people shall be willing in that day, man. Like, oh, you're going to be willing in that day. You, you're going to understand that a man is more precious than fine gold because how about you, y'all shall going to make us that. We are the prize, damn it. We are the prize. See, everything's been turned upside down, and you took it hook, line, and sinker. Why? Hypergamy. Because you were it, it, because it's more comfortable for you that way. But there's a recompense for everything that you've done. Let's read it again. Verse 24. He that getteth a wife getteth a possession, a help. What is that? A help. Like unto himself, a pillar of rest. A pillar of rest. Okay? Not, not like a... a, a a sandy way to the feet of the aged. No, a pillar of rest, man. Verse 25, where, where no hedge is, there, uh, there the possession is spoiled. Who's the possession? The wife. If you have no hedge, then you're spoiled. You threw. That's why in that day, you're going to be seeking uh, seven women, which is a number of completion. going to be seeking one man, a man of the Lord. And if you got, and I'm going to say this one more time. I'm going to say this again right here. And if you got or had a man of the Lord and you let him, you, uh, you so-called let him go because, because of this or because of that, you screwed up royally. Because in that day, you're going to be begging for a man of the Lord, a man of the Lord. You're going to be begging for a man of the Lord. Okay. All right. Because you, you know why? Because you're going to be running uh, uh, from Fernando, Franco, Pookie, uh, uh, Ray Ray, and, uh, uh, and Little Horn. Okay? You, you're going to be running from them cats. Believe you me. And, East, and, East, and uh, Doug, Bob, and, uh, uh, and, and, what's, and, and Kenny. Okay? You understand? And that day you're going to be running from them. Just believe it. Let's read it again. Verse 25. Where no hedge is, there is there the possession is spoiled. And he that have no wife will wander up and down mourning. Verse 26. Who will trust a thief? Well appointed that skippeth from city to city. <laughs> so who believe a man that have no house and lodge wheresoever the night taketh him and that is getting ready to happen did you see that did you see what that said he that have no house or a lodge right and you got what the hundreds of thousands of military aged men coming into this country right now don't you see it eve you better repent you better repent because they ain't got no house or no lodge you think of them you think they're gonna uh uh, uh store them up in the damn wild off her store uh, uh whatever the hell that uh uh, uh the hilton Forever? Hell no. They're going to be let loose like a, well, like, like, wow, like a, it's going to come in like a damn flood. See that? It's going over in the nighttime, man. When the night has come. See that? It's, it's man, shit's going to get serious right quick, fast, and in a hurry. Eve, you better get with it. But see, but see, that's the thing. Well, go back and watching those videos. Let's go back. 
Let's go back. He said, first, first you get, first you get the money, then you get the women. Look, one hundred forty-four thousand. That's beautiful. You don't think they know what's going on? Deliver it. Listen. And um, also question your partner if he has opposing views on something as a black woman that you are very passionate about. You want to hear more about that? Get my book, A White Man's Whore. Uh huh. You see, you, they, 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 they ain't. They, you think these black women are stupid? They play. They might play like they stupid. Uh huh. They, they they slick as hell. The end of is slick, and so and Northern Kingdom is too. I know. Believe me, I know. <laughs> huh? My wife Northern Kingdom. I already know. They all they slick as hell, man. Deuteronomy twenty four and verse one: When a man have taken a wife and married her. Which is going into her, not putting. Uh, if you if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. See all that bullshit, all that bullshit, and then you, you got congresswomen uh, uh, upside uh, upside down, pee popping on a handstand. Ain't that something? And uh, you see, you see how they portray you. And you you gotta get yourself a white man. You gotta get yourself a white man. You, we, we know how we treat the niggas. <laughs> you know, we know how we treat them. We can get away. We can get away with that. But you gotta treat you gotta treat him right, cause he ain't gonna tolerate it. We well, you know what uh, the men of the Lord we don't tolerate that shit neither. Uh huh. Anyway, when a man have taken a wife and married her, and it came to pass that if she found if he, if she found no favor in his eyes, because he had found some unclean uh, <coughs> so like it, because he has found some uncleanliness in her, then let him write a, a bill of divorce. And give her and and give it to her hand and send her as Slakia. I didn't mean I didn't mean to say that. That's adding to the scriptures. Call Yahweh and send her out of his house. See that? And when she departed, when she is departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's wife. Verse three. And if that latter husband hate her and write her a bill of divorce and giveth and giveth it in her hand. And send her out of his house, or if or if the latter husband die, see that, which take her to be his wife, her former husband, which sent her away, may not take her again. Do you see this? To be his wife after that she is defiled. Do you see that? All right, there's a reason why I'm reading this, right? Because each and every one of these damn women, they, they, you know, they they done been with more than one damn man. You know, you come on, man. You, uh, what's your body count? If she tells you the half of it, you, uh, 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 she ain't going to tell you the half of it. Okay? Defiled. Shall not that land be greatly polluted, right? For that is an abomination before the Lord, and thou shalt not cause the land to sin. Ooh. Which the Lord thy power giveth thee for an inheritance. A possession. See that? Defiled, greatly defiled, Isaiah 32 and verse 2. And, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. Now, let's go back. Let's go back. Now, now in, in these days, in these days to come, and, it, and it's coming so swiftly. Rise up, you women that are at ease, okay? It's coming so swiftly. And, and if you don't see it, you don't see it. But if you do see it, repent before it's too late. Repent before it's too late. You better seek a man of the Lord, I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now, because again, uh, Ramondo and Pookie and Ray Ray and uh, uh, and, and Franco and, uh, uh, and and Jimmy and whoever the hell, you know, uh, 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 whatever the hell, whoever, they're going to be coming after you, man. I'm telling you, the scripture said your wife's ravished, you know, trying to down like a Mary in the street, screaming and yelling. All that damn uh, yellow thin hair being plucked up out your head, you know, which is going to be easy because it ain't nothing but a damn wig or some weave anyway. Unbelievable. Huh. And a man shall be a hiding place from the wind and a, and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place. Rivers of water in a dry place is a, that's a damn good sight right there. Imagine you, you put you put it put this in your mind's eye. Imagine you thirsty as hell and it's 120 degrees and it's um, and it's tumbleweed and it goes wah, 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 and it's and, and, and it's and ain't no water nowhere and all of a sudden a big ass river of fresh clean water just comes roaring down and you gobbling it up drinking that water. Put it in your mind. 
from the tempest and as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land, a great rock, a shadow of a great rock, a big ass mountain that's shadowing you from that sun is beating down on you. It's beating down on you so hard and your lips is dry and cracked up like in them movies. Like 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 a rock like a rock that can't be moved that you can hide up under. More precious than fine gold. Okay, verse three. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall not be darkened. Do you see this? The heart also of the rest shall be under shall, shall understand knowledge. And the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. Whew. Verse five, the vile person shall be no more called liberal, uh, nor the churl said to be bountiful. This is a uh, this is uh, this is deadly serious business right here. Deadly serious business. I got a couple more and I'll close out, you know, just a couple more. That's it. More precious than fine gold, man. More precious than fine gold. More precious than fine gold. Mm -mm -mm. Where was I at here? I, I think I missed something. I may have missed something. Yeah, I got a couple more up here. Yeah, I missed a, a couple. Let's go. Here. Let's go back. Let's go on back up. You know, hell, I'm awake now. It's early in the morning, but whatever. First Corinthians 11 and verse three. But I will have you know and see. I read this earlier today at, or yesterday at camp. Okay. You know, a, wo a woman preacher come walking by. And, 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 I, and I knew I know who she is. I know who she is. Damn it. Woman preacher, man. I had to, I let it out. I let it out. First Corinthians 11, or verse three. You women, man, that are at ease. You think you can do this? You think you can do that? High pergamy. you comfortable as hell. You, you, you brothers, you know, hey, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, back when, you know, before I was married or whatever, you know, uh, you know. Been to a couple of other women's houses or whatever. You, you, anyway, you go to their houses and everything's all plush and big old fat pillows and, you know, the flowers and shit. She comfortable laying down the little leisure. That's why the scripture said, rise up, you women that are at ease. It said the vintage shall fail, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to fail. All that comfortable shit, you, it's going to fail, man. You know, you ain't going to have no feminine product. Ain't nothing, nothing. Watch that movie The Road, man. That dude's wife couldn't handle it for a, a, a couple of days, man. She went off and killed her own damn self. First Corinthians 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiachi Yahawashai, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahawashai is Yahweh. That's the order. It's simple and plain. It's simple and plain. There's just, I mean, it's simple and plain, man. Every man praying to prophesy and have it his head covered, dishonor of his head. Who's our head? Yahawashai. See that? But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonor her head, for this is even as all she were shaven, man. See? And, and, uh, see, and that's what I was going into earlier. Really, a woman's glory is her hair. And it's, it's written right here. Her glory is her hair, man. Why do you think you know, they put so much? And, and this, this is every woman on the planet. Every one, whether it be a heathen or a damn Israelite, man. You know? That's why they put so much emphasis on that hair, on them hair, that hair product, that hair product. But see, it's a curse for Eve. It's a curse, especially you so-called black women. It's a curse. And that's why you lose your damn hair, man. That's why you lose your hair. It's a curse. You were part of the curses, too. You see? I mean, damn, we could probably go back and watch that video again. And each and every one of them Eves probably had something for some, well, some, uh, some Indian hair. Or something. Look. Let's go. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's go back. Look. That she got a yellow thin hair, right? Let's go here. Look, she got a yellow thin hair. That's why I uh, outlined it, if you will. All right. Come on now. Let's get past that one. Yeah, that, that that ain't her damn hair neither. You know. I mean, it may be, but that that's a damn that's a damn elephant in a room right there. If if it is. Look, I don't know. That might be her. I, I don't know. I think that's the same damn woman. Okay. Well, whatever, man. Fake ass, man. Oh, boy. Every woman that prayeth for prophesy for her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. 
for this is even as all if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But is it is a shame for a woman. If, it's like it. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, see that? That's her glory. Let her be covered. Her, her glory is her hair. Okay? Not you. A, a, man, a man's glory is his, is his woman. See, that's, what, that's that true love. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. It, it ought to make sense, man. But to you, simp, chimp, gangster, pimp, you know, money, hoes, and clothes, all a nigga knows, you're not going to understand that. You're not going to, uh, you know, gain the, under, the, the mysteries of the Bible and the real true understanding on how this earth works, man. Thus say if you're about Shem Yamshah, you're not going to get it. You know, you're not going to get it. You know, I had this pulled up too. You see, 27 traits of a high value woman separates her from everyone else. There ain't no such thing. <laughs> you see that? Ain't no such thing as a high value woman. As a matter of fact, here, let's go here. Let's go here. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. The scriptures, man, these scriptures are powerful, man. I'm telling you right now. Proverbs 31 and verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? Do you see what that scripture said right there? Let's read it again. Let's read it again. Might only go back. Mm mm mm. There you go. Verse nine, open thy mouth, just uh, judge righteously. Do you see that? Judge not lest ye be judged. Oh, be quiet, you old dumbass Christians. You, 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 you dumb, stupid. Anyway, let's just read it again. Open thy mouth, judge righteously and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Of the what? Of the poor and needy. Verse 10, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? Hmm. What did that say? It said, of a man, I found one of a thousand, but of a woman, I didn't find not a damn one. Okay? Nope. Not a damn one. And I, and, I, and again, I don't really care. I don't, I don't care how you think and how you feel. Blah, blah, blah. If you can't take it or understand it, if you're in your feelings, you got to leave your feelings at the door. Because this Bible is going to leave you here and melt you. Excuse me, uh, Salakia. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is going to leave you here and melt you despite your feelings. So what you think and what you feel is going to get you killed. Let's read it again. Verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doeth, uh, uh, doth, her, of her husband doth safely trust in her. You see that? That's love. Hmm? So that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. But do you, what these women say? She won't get you. You get you a white man. You get, but you can't treat him like you treat like you treat the black man. You can't treat him that way because they ain't going for the shit. See that? Because they're not going for it. <laughs> and you all know, man, they, they can be meek and lowly as hell. You see them. You see if you see them in a grocery store. Or, 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 or Walmart or wherever the hell you might be, whether it be in a professional setting or, 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 or getting grabbing some damn groceries. If they got one of them, if they got one of them damn Edomites, man, they got their head down acting like they the damn uh, most meek uh, creature on the damn planet. See that? But when it comes to their own children, especially if they got one by a so-called black man, it comes to their own children, they, they treat them like precious. Watch that movie. See that? She will do him good and, and not evil all his days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. You see that? Willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She see that? Look at the uh, uh, Lion Kingdom. Shit. Come on now. She raise she raiseth also while it is yet night. And giveth meat to her household and a portion of her maidens. Woo, woo, boop, boop, boop. What did that say? And a portion of her maidens. Mm -mm -mm. Do I have to explain that one? All things are lawful, but not expedient, right? On this side, pfft, we'll just leave that be. All right. Yeah, I pulled this up. I don't even know why. I'm, I'm probably just leave it where it's at. There's a certain vibe and a high v vibe of a high value woman. There ain't no such thing. In Babylon, it is, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Her price is far above rubies. I have. I ain't found one. 
Mm -hmm. she, uh, she exudes intense energy that goes beyond her looks and independent to live life as she desires. That's the problem. Give the water. No, you see, yeah, let's, go, let's go here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go here. Yeah, the scripture said, here we go. See that? Give the water no passage, man. And water's almost like electricity. It flows and it goes to the least path of resistance, which is the ground. Okay? Give the water. This is a rock 25, verse 25. Mm -mm -mm. Shit, I was here already. That This is awesome. Wow, this is actually going into that little article I just pulled up. Uh, Sirach 25, verse 22. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger. See that? Impudence and much reproach. Much reproach. A woman, the, a woman abideth, a wicked woman abideth the courage and maketh a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees. Okay. Verse 24, of the woman came the beginning of sin. Did we not read Genesis 3, third chapter? Did we not read that? A part of it, right? It came the beginning of sin and through her we all die. See that? Do you see it? Give the water no passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. That's the problem. She's got too much liberty to get abroad. What did that say? She exudes intense energy that goes beyond her looks and uh, uh, her haunty looks and eyelids. So lucky I had to put that in there. <laughs> oh, boy. Behold her look uh, beyond her looks and uh, uh, in, in impudence to live the life she desires. See that? Hypergamy. That's why they hit the wall at 30 or 40 and 50 years old. They're them women, 50 years old, talking about, I don't know, now I want a man. I'm, I, you know, uh, now I want, a, I want a good husband. Now. Don't worry about it, won't you? You hit the, you hit the wall uh, 25 years, 20, uh, 30 years ago, you big dummy. All right? Being a high-value woman seems to be daunting, but it is not com uh, complacent. Uh, come. Uh, complacent, I think that's what it says. Lock if I got it wrong, damn it. As you think, it's a uh, complicated. Yeah, I said, I said complacent. Complicated as you think it is. You see, uh, as complicated as you think it is. All right, it is more about every everything you do and having the right mindset with you. And the right mindset is what giving due diligence to your husband. That's the right mindset. As a matter of fact, a mind well instructed. Let's go with that. No, a mind well instructed, a mind well instructed. And what does that go along with? Silence, silence, <laughs> inside joke, Sirach 24 verse 10. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. There you have it. Okay, there you have it right there. All right, so I don't, I don't, even, I don't need to go into this no more. <clears throat> Please excuse me. You see, let's let's type in it. Let's type this in. Let's see what this. You see, a high value man. What does this entail? See, a, a high value woman. See, uh, see what she, what she looks good and lives life like she wants to live. That's a high value woman. That don't make no damn sense. Let's see what a high value man is according to this world. High value man. Uh, we'll just go here and see twelve positive traits that define. A high value man. You know what defines a high value man? A man of the Lord that is doing the will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. That is extremely high value man. As a matter of fact, the highest value man on the face of the planet is a man of the Lord. That's a fact, Jack. Take it or leave it. All right. While scrolling online, you've probably seen the, the term high value man is buzzing. It's, it's buzzworthy articles or viral videos. What is a high value man? Damn it. What is it? Let's see. You know, high value man is as a respectful, successful, successful, likable, confident, and attractive man. All right, so you got you got to be you got to be all that and a bag of chips. All right, and see, uh, a high value man uh, 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 must have a clear purpose in life. Uh oh, 
But see, a high-value woman, what? She lives like, like she wants to. And you know damn well, she don't know whether she's going or uh, coming or going. You know, hey, women are tossed to and fro like the wind, bro. I'm, you know, I'm just saying, man, their, their mood swings are uh, uh, astronomical. A high-value man must, be, must have a clear purpose in life and achieve high goals to get there. He is always learning to better himself emotionally, mentally, and physically. To what better himself, right? But why? See, what's what you 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 brothers, man? You brothers already know. What would be the point of uh, of going through all this nonsense? Why? Because you want some damn tail. <laughs> Let's be honest. Because you want really you want to help me, man. A woman to help you out. A woman to act that, that will actually love you, man. But on this side, that ain't gonna. It really ain't gonna happen. I'm just saying. You really just want some tail, man. All right. A high value man is, uh, and you know, and honestly, and and that's the thing. A woman, and let's, let's, let's see, what was it? I don't, I don't even want to go back. Anyway, a woman that lives how she wants to, blah blah blah. Again, she'll hit 30, 40, and fifty, and realize, oh shit. And now she want, and now you want a high value man, man. You can kick rocks with all that. You can kick rocks. Genesis three verse sixteen. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply sorrow, and thy conception. Uh, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be towards thy husband, and he shall what rule over thee. That's what the scripture said. Don't shoot the messenger. See? Why? Because the woman was in transgression. Man was made first. You see? After his likeness, the scripture said. Huh? First Timothy 2, verse 14. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Okay? I mean, these are simple scriptures, man. Here, here, let's read this right here, verse 15. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. And see, that's the whole point, man. Uh, what, what does scripture say? A man to have joy of his children and live to see the fall of his enemies. Don't you understand what's going on here? Isaiah 4 and verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and will wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. See, and what reproach is that? Being trotted down like a mire in the street, you know? Hey, you could, uh, you know, hey, it, it, and here it is. We land we land at all our everything, man. For what? You know, and some, and some of our women, uh, you know, are going to be saved through, through, through us, through our works. You see? Thus say, if Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, if it's his will, then that's, that's what's going to happen, man. But that reproach, man, damn, it's going to be serious. Let's read this. What's going to cause, let's go back here. What's going to cause these women right here to forget all about that bullshit they talking about right now? What's going to, see, look, look, see, look, 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 look at the place. Everything look comfortable as hell. What's going to make them forget about all oh, this nonsense she talking? What's going to make them forget about it? You know what? <laughs> it's going to be enemies coming in like a flood. Like I said, Ramondo and them, uh, 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 yeah, 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 all of them. They go, man, I'm telling you, in war, that's what happens. Isaiah 4 and verse 1, and in that day, seven women, which is a, 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 a multitude, a, a just a, 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 who knows how many. And a lot of you going to get straight up rejected, man. Straight rejected. Okay. She'll take hold of one man saying, will we eat our own bread and wear our own apparel? Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, man. And that reproach is heavy, man. Heavy. You know? Isaiah 13 and verse 9. I'll close out here. It's been long enough. You know, I just, yeah, I was awake and said, screw it, man. Just get into a lesson through the spirit and power of your high body. I was shy. I saw that lesson, uh, you know, the brother Amawana Bar did. I said, I'll just jump on into it. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, Isaiah 13 and verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord, Yahweh, come cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners, therefore, out of it. You see that? The what? He shall destroy the sinners, therefore, out of it. And the stars are not, man, everything's going to be all, all, all the way on fire, man. Anyway, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. 
Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. Health and shalom well, to you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. You a hey, rise up, you women that are at ease. You know, in that day, you're going to be willing. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying. Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA, DTA, DTA. And Kwam Yasharala, Wa, Abai Baba. Boom, shalom.